यू सिलेबस मतलब मैथमेटिक्स डी टू एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व एफ क्वेश्चन एट The figure shows an equilateral triangle with its sides as indicated. Find the length of each side of the triangle. So first of all, as given the question, equilateral triangle. So it is a property of equilateral triangle. All the sides, three sides, are equal. Suppose if it is two, so that means it is this side is also two and this side is also two. Three sides having the same length. Now we'll find out the value of each side and if. One side is value is fourteen. That means all the sides having the value fourteen. Now by using this property, that uh, in equilateral triangles means first side is equal to second side and second side is equal to third side. We will make the equations. Take a moment. First side is equal to second side. Because all the sides are equal, so we'll take any two sides. First is is equal to second side, and second side x plus y is equal to third side. Because all the sides having the same same length. Now this is equation one and equation two. Uh, equation two says so by using equation one, x plus y minus nine is equal to y plus five. We'll find out the value. Take the move the variable on the one side of the equal x plus y. Uh, this y s plus y on the other side of the equal will become minus y. Five and constant minus nine on the other side of the equal will become plus nine. Plus y and minus y they will cancel each other. So x is equal to fourteen. Now put this value in the in any side from which. We will get the answer quickly. So here, it, uh, y is in wall, and we didn't find the value of y, so skip this side. This side is also contain x and y, but this side contain only one variable x. And we find out the variable value of variable x that is y. So we will use this side to x minus seven. To x minus seven. So put the value of x here. To x, and what is the value of x? Fourteen. Minus seven. Twenty one. And sides are given centimeter definitely. So if one side side is twenty one, as it is the equilateral triangle, that means if one side is twenty one, so this side will be also twenty one, and this side will be also twenty one. So there is no need to find out the value individually with each side. If this is twenty one, so be relaxed. Using the property of triangle, uh, equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal. So, uh, twenty one is the value of one side. So all the side is twenty one. Now question nine. The figure shows a rectangle with its length and breadth as indicated. Given that the perimeter of the rectangle is one twenty, find the area of the rectangle. It is the length of the rectangle and it is the breadth of the rectangle. Now, what is the property of rectangle? That is, opposite sides are equal. This and this. This is the opposite side. Both the sides are equal, and this and this. That are again the opposite sides. So these two sides are equal. Again, you will notice that. Here the value of this side is missing, but if this is missing, that means this value will be also on this side. Two x minus three will be on this side because by using that property, we will solve this question. Notice one thing more: that perimeter of the rectangle is also given that is one twenty. So we will make the equations according to that. As opposite sides are equal, so first equation we will derive from here: three x minus y is equal to two x plus y. Why so? Because this side is opposite to this side, and these two sides of the rectangle are equal. So by using this property, opposite sides are equal. We will make one equation: three x minus y. First side, this side should be equal to second side, and your that opposite side is two x plus y. First equation. Now, it is also given the question that the perimeter of the rectangle is one two four. So write down the formula of perimeter. Perimeter is equal to sum of all four sides. 
So some of these sides. of rectangle so perimeter is equal to 120 and sum of all the side first side is 3x minus y second side is plus 2 okay I will take in the bracket so it will be clear this is the first side this is the second side plus third side is 2x minus 3 and this is missing that if 2x minus this is this the other side will be also 2x minus 3 so double of 2 or you can also write it separately 2x minus 3 plus 2x minus 3 or I will write it as plus 2 into 2x minus 3 that's mean same procedure same value will become now just simplify the equations open the bracket 3x minus y plus sign is outside the bracket so there is no need to change the sign plus 2x plus y plus 2 to 0 4x minus 2 3 0 6 so solve the equations 3 plus 2 plus 4 3 plus 2 5 and this 9x plus y minus y they will cancel and minus 6 Yes. So move the question one side one twenty zero plus six is equal to nine x. So nine x is equal to one twenty six. Separate x from the coefficient. So one twenty six divided by nine. So we will get fourteen. Now put this value in the equation 1 because we will just find out the value of x now we will, when we put the value of x here so we will get the value of phi. So that's why we can find out the area of a rectangle by putting the value of length and breadth. Taking the value of length and breadth in a question term. So 3x minus 2x is equal to y and this y will when go in the other side of the equation become plus y. So x is equal to 2y x is equal to uh, 2 is uh, multiply with the y so then on the other side of the equal we will going the denominator y is equal to 2x now put this value here y is equal to x by 2 what is the value of x that will find in the first part that is the 14 14 by 2 so value of y is 7 9 by cutting the value of x and y, we will find out this value in the quotient. So, as I am putting this value in x and y here, so I will get out the value of length. And when I put in the value of x here, so I will get the value of breadth. So, that's why with the help of this, I will be able to find out the area of a rectangle. Now, here's a question that uh, if we put out the values on this side, so you can try put the same value on this side, you will get the same answer because the opposite sides of a rectangle, this and this will be same as well as this and this will be the same. So, length of a rectangle is, one side of the length is 3x minus y. Put this value, x is 14 and y is 7. So, 42 minus 7. That is 35. Length is 35 and breadth. That is 2x minus 3. So, 2 into value of x is 14 minus 3 and breadth is 5 length is 35 breadth is 5 so find the area area is equal to length multiplied by breadth so length is 35 and breadth is 25 so multiply these two values 35 multiplied by 25 25 875 875 this is in centimeter this is in centimeters and multiplication centimeter one and one power will be two centimeters square so area of the rectangle will be 875 centimeters square question 10 of exercise 2f 
the figure shows the rumors with your sides and you can't find the perimeter of the figure so what is the shape of the rhombus first of all rhombus have the uh, sides four sides and all the four sides having the same length suppose this is uh, suppose two so that means all the sides have a length of two centimeter so four sides having the same length and we will find out the perimeter so four sides and having the same length that means four a it is the formula of the rhombus, uh, perimeter of a uh, rhombus. So first of all, use the properties that four sides equal, take two, two sides equal to each other and make the equation. So these two sides are equal. Not these two sides, you can take any two sides. Mm, yes. 2x plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 3x minus y minus 2 divided by 2. First equation. Now take other two sides. 2x plus y plus 1 is equal to the second side. x minus y. Second equation. You can take any two sides. Because all the sides, all the four sides are equal. So we'll take any two, any two sides. You can try it. Okay. Solve it. Mm. I will take the second equation. Just simplify the equation. 2x plus y plus... Okay. Take the variable in one side. Minus x plus y. And one on the other side. Minus 1. So here we will get... x plus 2y minus 1. So separate the x. So I will substitute this x in the equation 1. So x is equal to minus 1 minus 2y. Yes. Now here we have the x in term of y. Now put this value in equation 1. Equation 1 is 2x. So value of x is minus 1 minus 2y. Mm. 2x plus y plus 1 and 3. 3x. So value of x put out here. Minus y minus 2. I hope so. It is understandable by you because I solved just directly. Now, I just put out the value of x. This is the value of x in this equation. I just put out this uh, equation directly. So... Hope so it is understandable by you guys. Now simplify the question minus 2 minus 4y to 1 zero 2 plus minus minus to 2 zero 4 y plus y. 2 is multiply only the term that is inside the bracket, not outside the bracket. As well as plus 1, 3 1 zero 3 and plus minus minus. So minus 3 plus minus minus 3 2 zero 6 or y variable same. Minus y that is outside the bracket, so there's no need to multiply that variable or that equations with this three and minus two. Whole term is divided by two. Just simplify the variables here. Minus two plus one minus one minus four plus five. That means minus four plus five minus three plus minus minus and the sign will become with a greater term four minus one is equal to three. Why the variable and this one is solved by this so no do any mistake to write it again and uh, again solve the terms minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 and minus 6 minus 5 minus 7 y what you bet now do the cross multiplication 2 multiplied by minus 1 minus 3 y and 1 is multiplied by minus 5 minus 7 y So, minus 2 minus 6y is equal to minus 5 minus 7y. Solve the variables. Minus 6y plus 7y. Move the variables in the one side of the equal. And minus y plus 2 on the other side. Constant on the other side of the equal. So, sign, that such sign will be changed. Minus 6 plus 7y. Plus 2 minus 1y. So, y. And... Uh, no need, uh, no need to write down one as a coefficient. 
और माइनस फाइव प्लस टू माइनस थ्री सो वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव इज माइनस थ्री सो विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ द अदर वेरिएबल बाय पुटिंग इन द अदर इक्वेशन एक्स इन टर्म ऑफ वाई एज वी फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सो विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन एज अ कॉन्स्टेंट एम हेयर सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन माइनस टू वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन माइनस टू वाई सो put the value of y here x is equal to minus one minus two what is the value of y minus three so x is equal to minus one minus minus plus two three zero six x is equal to five the value of two variables is x is equal to minus three and sorry y is equal to minus three and this is x is equal to y now put this value on any side so as all the side of the rhombus is same so we'll get the answer I will take the just shorter side. That is the third side of a rhombus. As you can also see, the third side of the rhombus that is given in a book x minus y. So I will put out the values of the variable here. When I will get this value, that means whatever this value, all the side having the same value because it is the property of rhombus. So x minus y. What is the value of x? Five minus. And what is the value of y? Minus three. So put this value here. Y plus three or oh, y five plus three minus minus plus three. So five plus three means eight. Each side of rhombus is equal to eight. Now we want to find the perimeter of rhombus, and the formula of perimeter of A means sides. Uh, you can also write it four sides. It's better. So four. E side is eight. So we'll get the value answer that is thirty-two. So perimeter is equal to thirty-two.